So I've got a basic groove here that's using four groups and jams in level mode so my touch strips are showing the levels of my groups. I'll solo group D now with the solo button. And now to switch to viewing and controlling the levels of the sounds in the group, I need to hold the level button and then press any sound in the upper or lower half of my group to select sounds 1 to 8 or 9 to 16. Soloing the hat now. To change to adjusting its panning, I can press shift and level. And then level again to go back to level control. Then to go back to mixing group levels, I hold down level and hit a group button. If I want to switch out a sound in a group, like say the hat again, then I can browse for new sounds by holding a sound down and hitting browse. And to save time when doing this, I can load the previous or next sample in the list by holding shift and then pressing up or down with the D-pad. When browsing through long lists, you can speed things up by holding shift and rotating the encoder, which then jumps in groups of 10 rather than individually. And finally, holding shift whilst pressing the encoder on a preset is a shortcut to adding it to your favorites. The control button works in a similar way, whereby if you want to use the touch strips to control a plugin on a particular sound or group, then you have to hold it and then press the sound or the group. And this also applies to the master channel, which you can switch to using the master button. When there are multiple plugins on the channel, holding control and then pressing up or down on the D-pad switches between them. And this also means you can switch to an empty slot, after which you can press browse to then load an effect into it. I hope you found these quick tips useful. See you next time.